Hey guys, this is Lily, and today we will be uh, playing Minecraft, and I will be showing you guys the Twilight Forest mod. So, this mod is a very cool mod. Um, well, let's go into the portal, that would be bad. And there are a lot of different kinds of trees. This tree, I did not notice this, but if you turn on this emerald and just let it sit, ore will pop up. So, we're going to look at this ore, we're going to mine this ore. Uh, after we finish with this stuff, okay. So uh, after I show you everything, let me show you how to make the cool. So right here is these cool blocks. If where are they? Uh, wait, are they in my? They're in my inventory. Yes, these blocks. Uh, it depends where you place them. So like, say you place it here, it's gonna have that. You break it, it won't change. It just will keep popping up with that. If you place it up there, it will just be different. If you place it like. The way to get a different block there, I feel like, would be to get a piston and push that block, push that one over there. But I didn't really show you how to do it. So, uh, these are some very cool blocks, I think. And then when you, so after that, when you, so there's these blocks right here. They look exactly like this, but with those have the stuff on them. These are blue castle runes, and then there's purple, yellow, and magenta. These are just regular, um, like, little blocks. We have some spine ones, some other really cool ones. This is, uh, I'm pretty sure, a castle roof. So I really like this one, and this one, and there's some stairs, and this cool block. So we're going to go inside of this little area, which is not really a house, but we're going to right-click these. We're in. You don't have to make it just like this. I just did a bunch of them to show them. Uh, you can all just make this all blue. All, you can really design any color. Uh, and there is a lot of them right here. Violet, yellow, blue, and pink. Oh no, those are pink. I thought those were magenta. All right, then we have some different little things right here. Uh, let's just go to the worst one thing. Okay, right here, there are a bunch of things. I'm not gonna be showing all this today, but there are, I'm gonna be showing them in different videos. Hmm. Okay, so there are a lot of these. These are all different. They all say different things, but they all look the same. These are the three ones that don't look the same. There's this one, this one, and this one. If you have chisel bits, you could probably make this without even the mod, because it looks like you did just do one little, single little block on each. So, now we'll be uh, getting to this over here. So, Let's get to the trees now. So this is just a regular vanilla tree. <laughs> There's this tree right here. I'm not sure if I do anything. I don't, I'm not sure what that would do. I'm not going to leave it on. This is what this tree does. It looks like it kind of rains here a little bit. And look at these guys. So it's the tree of transformation. Tra transformation. Pretty sure. And this one's kind of like rainbow. This one's tree of time sapling. This is what it looks like. Let me back up. It kind of looks like... Like different, like different seasons, like that would be fall and stuff like that. Over here is this tree right here. I'm pretty sure this is called... Uh, I don't know what this is. But this is what it's called. Or this is what it is. And then if you break one leaf that's there, there'll be this eye that opens and closes. Yeah. And then over here is this rainbow oak sapling. Rainbow oak sapling. Stuff. All right, we're gonna get to this tree last. Uh, this tree is the same tree I accidentally spawned in two areas. This is the biggest tree I've ever seen. It goes all the way up and it's hollow inside. Look. See, we're gonna break in. It's hollow. You can climb all the way up. You can probably build a tree house in there, like some kind of secret house. It is called Row Dust or something tree, and it's an oak tree. Uh, I'm in the Okay, and then is that all the trees? Yes, that is all the trees. Now let's get to this one. Let's get this wrong thing. So I left two pickaxes in here. A dying pickaxe and a pickaxe here from this record. Oh, let's put that back in there. So it's called a miner's tree sapling. So if you leave this on, uh, ore will come around it. See that there's some iron right here. It's even below here. There's more here. We're going to mine all this in survival. But first, this is what the tree looks like. It is a pickaxe, actually. Oh, it's raining, really. <sighs> okay. Okay. Let me just type in... Oops, that's wrong. Is that... No. Hi. Clear. So it's... A... No. E... Yes, there we go. 
Okay, here we go. So now let's turn ourselves to survival game slash game mode. Mm, it's I think game mode two. Yes. So let's grab. Okay, we have the pickaxe. I have some experience. We're gonna mine it with a regular diamond pickaxe. Wait, why won't this mine? Oh, I think. Wait, do you need this? Wait. Why all this stuff mine? You can't mine this stuff? Hmm. Wait. Oh, maybe you have to turn this on now. Can you mine it? I'm not sure why you cannot mine it. I did not know you couldn't mine it. Maybe. Wait. Wait. Oh, I know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> Game. Mode. Zero. I need being game mode zero for my game. <laughs> so that auto that smelts it by itself. That see, I'm pretty sure that smelted it, and then when I break it, like, oops, break it with my pickaxe. No, it's the same, I guess. Oh, so you mine this. It's you need a diamond pickaxe to mine this, uh, or you could use any other ones. Uh, here's some white stuff that we were just mining. Let's get all the white stuff. And look, guys, there are roots under the trees. I'm pretty sure. Because there are some roots under this tree. Okay, so eat, they uh, smell, not it smells. They get um, regular vanilla, like some of this iron. And it also gets just some uh, other modded ore. So look, this smelts it by itself, so you want to get this pickaxe. It smelts it by itself. Um, let me just, oh, I forgot I can't fly. <laughs> oh, jeez, I fell. Okay. So if this one, this pickaxe smelts the things by itself. See that, guys? See, it, when it makes uh, the little fire thing, I mean, it, it's not, it got smelted. So this, it, well, see, look, guys, it just it got some more ore there. We're going to turn that off for mine all this. All right, yeah, it, it spawns in ore. That is really cool, actually. I did not know it actually spawned in ore. So we're going to get this purple ore behind here, too. So this is all the ore that I have gotten from it. This, uh, this iron and stuff, so we're going to put this in here. Oops. Oh, I can't do that. Oops. Okay, there we go. Alright, let me just turn back to creative. Oops. Okay, okay, so let's put this stuff back. Okay, that was fun. I don't know what happened. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys how to make this portal. So to make the portal, you'll need one diamond, so you will not be able to get to it, like, right away uh, when you first spawn into your world. You need a diamond, any flower, I'm pretty sure you need eight. And so any flower, any kind, it doesn't have to be flower, it can be, like, anything, but I'm just going to use one kind of flower. So you need to put your flowers all the way around, so that is four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, actually. You need twelve of any, like, plant kind of thing. I'm pretty sure it also maybe works with modded plants. I don't know. Or modded flowers or something. Fill this all the way up. You need four blocks. You need to be filled all the way up. And then you just... Wait a second. And then you just fill it. Make sure it's flat. You throw a diamond in. Wait a second. Fire. There could be fire, so... And then, so if you break your flowers all the way around it, uh, it is, uh, that will work. But there's one thing you cannot do. You cannot break like that, or it will just break like that. So, we are going to go into the portal now. And it go. so this is what it will look like when you first... Okay, it might be a little laggy here because there are... Okay. Let's wait. Okay, so here's a... See, this is what I mean. You can make it with any 12 plant thing like that. So, the first thing we'll be going over is the bugs and plants. These are the four bugs in the uh, game. These, see these two little, uh, this and that are different, I'll show you. There's a moonworm queen, a, I don't know what that says, a moonworm, and a firefly. We're going to place them next to each other. Firefly right there, moonworm queen. And then, the, wait, moon worm, and this is the moon worm queen. And then the last thing is this one. So, yeah, I'm going to put these back. Okay, next over here are 
these over here. These are all the leaves in the game right here. And then here are some things right here. These are a little thorn bush. This is a burnt thorn bush. This will not stay here for a long time. It will eventually like turn into ash, I think. These are some of the roots and then some plants right here. Right here is a, a mushroom. Uh, these uh, are clover patch. You can place it down, but I would not because it is, it might hurt, like, I don't know. It might like hurt your world or something. Oh. And where there's a thorn bush. A thorn bush. I'm pretty sure. Is this? Oh, all right, thorn bush. I need to get a flower. These are thorn roses. You can only place them on these. See, look. Anywhere else? You can only place them on the thorn bush, like this, like that. Anywhere you want on the thorn bush, but you can't place it anywhere else. And then here are these two things. These are some roots and some. Um, torchberry plants. Next, uh, we'll be going over to here. Uh, see that, uh, there, that animal right there is not in the Twilight Forest mod, it is in the Mo Creatures mod, so. And here we go. Over here are some of the trophies you can get. So there, these, this is a questing ram, that's the Urgas. I'm not sure what the, uh, I think this is a mushroom and an ice queen. I'm not sure what the other ones are. This one is the Twilight Lich Trophy, I'm pretty sure. And then right here are some things that, like, these are some things that you want to have and stuff. But this is really cool. So grab, so if you want to craft anything, you can craft stuff here. You can craft two things like that and craft it. But if you want to, like, oh no, I don't want to make a diamond sword. No, I need two diamonds. I can just, I need two more diamonds and I already have a diamond sword that you already crafted. Say, like, you crafted boots for your, uh, set of armor and you actually realize you already had boots. You could uncraft them. You just put them right here. Do that. You get all your things back. And then you can just put, it is also a crafting table. Uncrafting table and a crafting table. And you just take it right back out. So let's put that back in here. Alright, over here is all the spawn eggs. I'm not going to spawn these because there are way too many of these. These are all the spawn eggs. You can spawn them if you would like uh, in your world because, well that's a crow. I, don't, I, don't, I think that's in the Twilight Forest mod. Oh, no, okay. Over here are all the armors. So, some of these don't, I don't, I'm pretty sure some of these don't have, like, the full set. Like, this one doesn't have boots or pants. This one doesn't have boots or a helmet. Yeah, you guys can pause the video, look at all this, and there are a lot of things. I'm pretty sure you can get one of these from the Minotaur. Yeah. And then, there's all kinds of things here. There's even a shield. So, we're going to put that in my offhand. And then you can, you can look yourself, uh, let me see, see, look, look at that, and let's grab the diamond sword that was in here, that's not in, in here, and then you could just fight, and then you just, like that, you do right click to do that with your shield, you can do that and still fight, you so see, you can do this, so you can block, and then fight, block, fight, block, fight, so like if a skeleton, you could just block, and then like, I kill him and stuff. So we're gonna put this in here. We're gonna get this out of it. Why don't I put that in there? Okay. We go over here. Up here is some more, some bows, a giant pickaxe. I'll show you what the giant pickaxe is. This is the giant pickaxe. You can, it's just a regular pickaxe. You can just, it's a regular pickaxe, but giant. Look at that, guys. That's huge. Oh, really? Let me just turn the weather. Okay. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's put the stuff back. Okay, gonna get. I need to get this out of my offhand. Wait, here we go. Let's put that away. So that. Is that it? Oh, yeah. That is it for the mod. But, like, guys, I have more. I have some waypoints we're gonna go to. So the first one we're gonna go to is. What is this one? Okay. Let's just wait. Sometimes when I teleport, I lag a little bit. This right here. This thing is huge. Ooh, I forgot something. I need to go back to the portal. Okay. Right here. 
go back to the portal. I need to grab something out of this chest. Okay, guys. So, sorry if it's lagging. It's just kind of what happens when I teleport. Okay. First, before we go look at those, we're going to spawn in this. This is the questing ram, guys. This is what he looks like. He looks so cool. And he, he loves wool. So, if you have wool, you can lead him around and stuff. But you want to put wool on him. So, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. You can put all the other colors on, too. So, if you type for wool, or just search for wool. Wool, that's his wood. Wool, he, you can put any wool. I'm also going to put some white on him, I'm pretty sure. Some white. Put some white on him. There we go. And we're going to look at look at that, guys. That is the questing ram. You can put wool on him to make him longer. Did you see that? He got longer. So this is what he uh, first looked like. That's what he looks like. And then he can get longer if you put more wool on him. I'm pretty sure. Can you put more of the same? No. But you can, you can just mix and match with all the colors, and it will go in a order like this. So, see this? Let's put, so it will go in a rainbow, any way you do it. Like, say, put some green first, then red. It will go in a rainbow. Anyway, like, start with red, and then end up with the colors you want. So, guys, that is it for the mod. Uh, or, this is not the it for the mod. This is just part one to it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do a part two. This might be all I'm going to show. It is a very big mod. Uh, there's a lot of things in it. So you can just scroll down. It's, there's even some wood fences. There's a lot of things in it. So I might not do another uh, part two to it. If you're looking for the whole mod, I would go watch a different video because I am not doing all of it. It is a lot of work and I don't have enough time to do it. So guys, that is going to be it for today. So I guess see you guys next time. Bye!